Hello and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this carefully curated video, we are going to discuss the field of cybersecurity in extensive detail. We will cover some highly sought after topics like cybersecurity skills, salary of a cybersecurity professional at various stages of their career, and then we will discuss some of the most important cybersecurity certifications you must pursue if you want to become a top company. So, let's jump in the ever evolving digital landscape of 2024 where technology propels our lives forward, the need for cyber warriors has never been more pronounced. As we delve into this year, the realm of cybersecurity promises challenges, opportunities and a chance to make a real difference. If you have ever pondered the path of becoming a guardian of the digital realm, 2024 might just be the year to set your course. In this era, data is not just information, it's power. And with great power comes great responsibility. Cybersecurity professionals are the guardians of this power, the vigilant sentinels of our digital society. As you embark on your journey to become a cybersecurity professional, you will not only be acquiring a set of skills but also embracing a mission, safeguarding the digital universe from the ever advancing forces of cyber threats. Whether you are a novice integrated by the world of cybersecurity or a seasoned IT professional looking to specialize, the road ahead offers exciting prospects. In this guide, we will navigate the intricate network of knowledge, skills, and experiences required to become a cybersecurity professional in 2024. From understanding the latest trends to mastering the basics, we will equip you with the tools and insights to embark on a secure and promising future in this dynamic field. And before starting, if you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. And this course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners. And this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% average and no prior programming experience and one plus year of work experience is preferred. For more details, you can use the link mentioned in the description box and pin comment. So fasten your seat belts and let's embark on this journey together. Your mission to secure the digital world of 2024. We'll start with who is a cybersecurity professional. So, cybersecurity professional is an expert dedicated to safeguarding digital systems and data. They defend against cyber threats, assess risk, respond to incidents, and ensure compliance with security standards. Ethical hackers test system and they play pivotal roles in securing the digital realm through constant learning and evolving strategies. So this is the person or this is the cybersecurity professional and now we'll see the roles and responsibilities for the particular category. So roles and responsibilities for a cybersecurity professional. So the starting is security monitoring. Continuously monitor systems and networks for potential security threats and suspicious activities. So these are the roles and responsibilities for a cybersecurity professional. Moving to the next that is incident response. So cybersecurity professionals develop and execute plans to respond to security incidents containing and mitigating the impact of breaches. Moving to the next, that is vulnerability assessment. Identify and assess vulnerabilities within systems and networks and prioritize them for remediation. And moving to the next, that is security compliance. Ensure compliance with legal and industry specific cybersecurity regulations and standards. So now we'll move to the next roles and responsibilities. So these are access control that is implement and manage access controls to limit unauthorized access to critical resources. And then we have security architecture that is design and implement security measures including firewalls, encryption and intrusion detection systems. And then we have security awareness. Educate employees about security best practices to reduce human related security risk. And then we have penetration testing. Conduct ethical hacking to identify and address weaknesses in security systems. So these are some of the roles and responsibilities of a cybersecurity professionals. And they do a very, very, very plethora of roles and responsibilities on different job roles. Now we'll see the steps to become a cybersecurity professional. So we'll start with the number one step that is educational foundation. So establishing a strong educational foundation is fundamental for becoming a cybersecurity expert. 
Obtaining a bachelor's degree in fields like computer science or cyber security provides essential knowledge and skills, forms the basis for more specialized cyber security training and certification programs, setting the groundwork for a successful career in the field. So this was about the educational foundation. Now moving to the step two, that is cyber security courses. So you can also enroll in specialized cyber security courses and certifications and they will help you crack the more certifications that is certified information system security professional, CISSP, certified ethical hacker, CEH and certified information security manager, CISM and CompTIA Security Plus. And here we have a simply learn postgraduate program in cyber security from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council and that should be a right choice if you want to crack all the certifications. This course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% average and no programming experience required and one plus year of work experience is preferred in any field. For more details, you can use the link in the description box below. Now moving to the third step that is hands-on learning. So hands-on learning in cybersecurity involves practical real-world experience. It includes setting up security systems, conducting penetration tests, analyzing malware and responding to simulated cyber incidents. This hands-on approach is crucial for developing the skills and intuition needed to address security threats effectively. So this was the step 3, now moving to the step 4, that is networking. So networking in the context of becoming a cybersecurity expert involves building professional relationships within the cybersecurity community. It includes attending industry events, joining forums and connecting with experienced experts. These connections provide opportunities for knowledge sharing, mentorship and staying updated on the latest trends and threats in the field, which are essential for career growth and expertise. So now moving to the step 5, that is ethical hacking skills. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, specialize in legally and proactively identifying vulnerabilities and weaknesses in systems and networks. They use their skills to simulate cyber attacks, uncover security flaws, and provide recommendations to strengthen defenses. Ethical hacking is essential for maintaining robust cybersecurity by preventing malicious exploits. So, this was about the step 5. Now, moving to the step 6 that is, stay informed. Continuously update your knowledge by following cybersecurity blogs, attending webinars, and subscribing to industry publications. Staying informed about the latest threats, vulnerabilities, and security trends is essential in the ever evolving field of cybersecurity, enabling you to adapt and protect against emerging risks. So, now moving to the step 7 that is, internships and entry level jobs. Internships and entry level jobs in cybersecurity provide invaluable real world experience. They offer hands on exposure to security tools, processes, and best practices. These positions allow individuals to apply their knowledge, work alongside experienced professionals, and develop practical skills, setting the foundation for a cybersecurity successful career. And now moving to the next step that is step 8, and that is specialized domain. Specializing in cybersecurity involves focusing on a specific area within the field, such as network security, application security, or incident response. By deepening your expertise in a particular domain, you become better equipped to address specialized threats and challenges, making you a valuable asset in the cybersecurity landscape. Now, moving to the step 9, that is, certifications. Certifications are vital in the cybersecurity journey. They validate your expertise and open career opportunities. Start with foundational certifications like CompTIA Security Plus and progress to advanced ones such as CISSP or CISM. These credentials showcase your knowledge and commitment to potential employers, making you a more attractive candidate for cybersecurity roles. Now I will just tell you about the list of popular cybersecurity certifications. Number one is CISSP, that is Certified Information Security System Security Professional. And this demonstrates expertise in information security and is highly recognized globally. Then we have Certified Ethical Hacker that focuses on ethical hacking and penetration testing, preparing professionals to identify and address vulnerabilities. Then we have CISM, Certified Information Security Manager, that validates skills in managing and governing an enterprise information security program. And then we have CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor 
that focuses on auditing, control, and assurance skills for information systems. And then we have CompTIA Security Plus, an entry-level certification covering foundational security skills and knowledge. And then we have CCSP, Certified Cloud Security Professional, that specializes in cloud security, demonstrating expertise in securing cloud environments. And then we have CISSP, ISSAP, that is Certified Information Security Technician, that concentrates on architecture emphasizing risk management and governance and then we have CISM certified information security manager that validates skills in managing and governing an enterprise information security program and then we have CCSP certified cloud security professional that specializes in cloud security demonstrating expertise in security cloud environments and we have a list of all the certified cybersecurity certifications but these are the top of the main certifications which you can pursue now moving to job roles and average salary so the first job role we have is information security manager and the average salary for this particular role is $150,000 in US and for in India that is 11 lakhs per annum and then we have the next job role that is cyber security engineer and the average salary for this role in US is $145,000 Per year and in India that is 13 lakhs per annum and then we have the next role that is application security engineer and for this role the average salary in US is $120,000 and in India that is 10 lakhs per annum and then we have network security engineer and the average salary for this role is $156,000 in US and in India that is 8 lakhs per annum and then we have cyber security analyst and for this role the average salary in US is $105,000 per annum and in India that is 7 lakhs per annum and now moving to the companies hiring cybersecurity professionals so the companies are Amazon, Accenture, Google, Apple and Intel so these are the topmost companies that hire cybersecurity professionals and every company needs cybersecurity professionals to safeguard their systems and to defend the customers identities or their credentials and this was all about for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. We have Simply Learn's advanced executive program in cybersecurity in collaboration with NPCI, and that should be your right choice. With this program, you can transform your career in six months for India specific region only. This course provides a high engagement learning experience with real world applications and is designed for individuals who want to start a new and more fulfilling career. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. Today we are diving into the exciting world of cybersecurity, where protecting valuable data and information is more crucial than ever. But before we jump into the essentials of cyber defense, let's first understand what cybersecurity is. Before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. So which of the following is not an example of common cybersecurity threat? Option A is phishing, option B is malware, option C is firewall or option D is ransomware. You can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. Alright, so now let's begin with the first topic that is what is cybersecurity? So cybersecurity refers to the practices and technologies used to protect computers, networks and digital information from unauthorized access, theft, damage or disruption. It is like digital lock and a key system that keeps your personal and sensitive information safe from hackers and other cyber threats. Just like you lock the doors of your house to keep the thieves out, cybersecurity keeps hackers out of your digital world. It involves things like using strong passwords, keeping software up to date, and being cautious when opening email attachments and clicking on the links. The cybersecurity market size is expected to reach 400 billion by 2028 as per Global Market Insights. Organizations and businesses also have a responsibility to implement cybersecurity measures to protect their customers' data and prevent cyber attacks that could harm their reputation and financial stability. Some of the popular companies with a very high demand of cybersecurity engineers are Symantec, Rapid7, FireEye, Microsoft, and Coalfire, etc. Now, career scope of cybersecurity. The career scope of cybersecurity is vast and ever expanding due to the increasing reliance on technology and growing threat of cybercrime. Cybersecurity professionals are in high demand across various industries and sectors, including government, 
finance, healthcare, e-commerce and technology. The demand for cyber security professionals is expected to continue to grow as organizations increasingly prioritize protecting their data and systems from cyber threats. Now let's talk about a topic that's on everyone's mind that is cyber security salaries. There are various roles in the field of cyber security, each with its own responsibilities and corresponding salary ranges. Let's discuss some common cyber security roles and their approximate salary ranges. First is ethical hacker. Ethical hackers are cyber security professionals who are responsible for accessing the security of computer systems, networks, applications, and other digital assets to identify vulnerabilities. They perform authorized legal and controlled hacking activities to file vulnerabilities and report them to the organization for remediation. The average salary of an ethical hacker is around 16 lakhs in India and $88,000 in the United States. Next is Security Engineer. A security engineer plays a critical role in ensuring the security and integrity of an organization, information systems, networks, and data. Their responsibilities typically include designing and implementing security measures, monitoring and detecting security breaches, etc. The average salary of a security engineer is around 8 lakhs in India and $120,000 in the United States. Next up, we have Chief Information Security Officer. The Chief Information Security Officer Officer or CISO is a senior leadership role responsible for overseeing the organization's information security strategy, policies, and programs. The CISO is accountable for ensuring the confidentiality, integrity of the organization information, protecting them from cybersecurity threats. The average salary of a chief information security officer is around 76 lakhs in India and $186,000 in the United States. The next role is Network Security Engineer. A network security engineer is responsible for managing and securing the connections and communication between devices, computers over the internet. They play a crucial role in implementing and maintaining security measures that safeguard network connections and ensure the protection of sensitive information transmitted over the internet. The salary of a network security engineer is around 6 lakhs in India and $101,000 in the United States. Now moving on to the next role, that is IT Security Specialist. An IT Security Specialist collaborates with a team of IT professionals to create strategies and plans for safeguarding devices and systems with an organization against cyber attacks. They conduct assessments of the IT systems to identify potential vulnerabilities and work with the team to strengthen the security posture of the organization's IT environment. The average salary of an IT security specialist is around 12 lakhs in India and $112,000 in the United States. So these are the various roles in the cyber security and along with these there are many other roles also. Next we have is certification required for this field. So there are numerous certifications like Cyber Security Expert, Master's Program, Certified Information Security Manager, Caltech Cyber Security Bootcamp, Offensive Security Certified Professional, and EJPTV2, etc. Now, let's have a look at them. First is Cyber Security Master's Program. This Master's Program in Cyber Security will provide you with all the necessary skills to excel in the rapidly expanding field of cyber security. Through this comprehensive program, you will learn how to safeguard your infrastructure by implementing robust measures to protect data and information conducting through risk analysis and mitigation, designing cloud-based security system. Moving on to the next certifications, that is EJPTV2 certification is a well-designed to access your proficiency in all stages of penetration testing lifecycle, including assessment methodologies, host and networking auditing, host and network penetration testing, etc. Its exam includes 35 questions and you need to score at least 70% to pass. You have a 48 hour time frame to complete it. So these were some of the best certifications that you can opt for. All right, guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.